Hi, this is Chef Janie, and today we're going to be canning potatoes. Now, all I've done here is I have kept the skins on. These are Yukon Gold, so they got the little bit of the butter flavor built in. They're our favorite potato. Remember, when you're canning, you only want to use really what you know you're going to eat. And in this case, we love to make mashed Yukon Gold potatoes, or we like these in a stew. So I just kept the skin on just like I normally do, and that's fine. You can peel them if you like. That's up to you. And it gets starches here at the top. I've brought these up to a simmer and I've simmered for about 10 minutes. Not enough to cook them through. You can see here they're not cooked through. I chopped them, cut them up pretty large here. It's a pretty good sized spoon right here. Just to give you an idea of how big I cut them. There's my hand, see? Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to skim the starch off, off the top or you can even use some fresh water and bring some fresh water to a boil. But this right here gets the starch out of the potatoes. We've got our lids hot and just to simmer. We've got the jars sterilizing. We're going to turn the jars upside down so the steam can get up inside of them. And here we have the canner heating on low. We don't want it too hot. We just want it about the same uh, temperature of what the jars will be when we put in there. Now we just removed the potatoes from the heat. Remember, we never really brought this up to a hard boil or anything. We just wanted to get the starch out of it. You can see the starch here. And you can see how cloudy that water is, okay? Well, we're going to get rid of that because we want nice, clear potatoes. So here we're filling up another pan with uh, cold water and we're going to bring this to a boil on the stove as well. Okay, we're just going to take our hot sterile jars and we're going to fill them up with the potatoes. Okay, there we go. And you just want to fill it up with clean water. You don't want to use the starch water. You want to fill it up with clean water. And this is nice having a pan with a spout and you just want to debubble it like this. That's packed tight. See the bubbles coming to the surface there. This also helps pack them as well. If you'd like you can add a quarter to a half all the way up to one teaspoon of salt. Going to take our clean napkin and we're going to clean off the top here. Remember the finger trick that I already taught you here? Put on the lid. Finger tight and take this over to the canner. Now we're just going to wait for our canner to start steaming. You'll be able to fill it and when it's steaming really strong we're going to let it steam and vent for 10 minutes. Okay once it's vented for 10 minutes we're going to sit our uh, Weight on here, that's 10 pounds. That's the two pieces, not the three, but the two pieces. It's one ring on top of the five pound weight. You can see our nipple is up on here. And we've set our timer for 40 minutes. There we go. 35 minutes for pints, 40 minutes for quarts. If you're gonna do the uh, pint and a half, go ahead and do it the quart amount at 40 minutes. We'll see you back here then. And here it is, home canned potatoes. And like I said, these are Yukon Gold, so they got a little bit more of a yellow coloring to them. Aren't those beautiful? And all you have to do is drain these, smash them, and make them into mashed potatoes, or throw them into a quick stew with a little bit of your beef tips or ground beef, and uh, maybe even some sliced up uh, meatloaf and some mashed potatoes, and make like a Manhattan sandwich or something. There's all kinds of things you can do with these potatoes. And these are the Yukon Gold, so they have a little bit of a butter flavor to them. Um, and uh, the, when you whip these up, the skins will just kind of melt away. And that's what I like about the uh, gold potatoes. And they, that, and they have that little bit of a butter flavor. But, but anyway, I hope this has inspired you. And I hope you've enjoyed uh, canning with me. And I hope you come along for the ride on our next video. This is Chef Janie Pendleton. Oh, you hear that? <laughs> Enjoy.